there, YouTube land. This is Vape Freak. Have a review for you today: the Asmodus Minikin Two. I'm gonna go through all the specifications, pros and cons, all that good stuff. Hope you enjoyed my video, and without wasting a whole bunch of your time, let's go to the mat. And here it is, the Asmodus Minikin 2. So the box it comes in, that's a pretty blue color. 180 watts. It's got the scratch and check authenticity code, barcode of course. 21 plus, adult use only. Got the Asmodus logo there. I really love that logo. It's really cool looking. Did a good job. Have some specifications on the back, and I will go over this in the manual. And you have a nice little window here so you can see the mod. I think that's really cool. I like that. All right, let's get her open. Okay. Held in place by this little foam cradle. And here we have a warranty card. This little good quality paper there. And you have this card here. Very important. Do not use batteries with insulation skin damaged in any Asmodus product. We will not be responsible for any damages caused by using substandard batteries. Use good batteries. This is not safe. Missing the skin, cracks, bulge batteries, all this is bad. Good batteries only. It's very important. And here's the manual. And here she is. Let's five ten connection spring-loaded pin every atomizer I've placed on here has worked nice and flush no problems very good quality sits flush here's the side A little tab where you put your fingernail to get the battery door open same for this side here's the bottom where the battery venting holes are just in case Here's the back, same as Modus logo there, embossed into the battery door. That is really cool. And here's the top, or the front. So sorry about that. Fire button. It's not very clicky, more spongy, but it's very responsive. LED screen and the USB port. Very, very cool. It's not a very heavy mod, but we're going to check the weight. It is 163 grams on the nose. That's without batteries. So let's open the battery door here. Very strong magnets. I like this. Really heavy battery door really nice and the battery tray positive negative positive negative and quality control sticker and all of the connections it's very nice in here very clean they did a very good job on this now right, let's put batteries in I'm using LG HG2 batteries Positive, negative, and the second. Positive, negative. Okay, battery door clips in place. Very, very strong. All right, let's see the 
weight with batteries. 254.2 grams. Not bad. It's very, very sturdy. I like this. Five clicks turns it on. One, two, three, four, five. And there's the screen. I'll go over this in just a second. Very nice. Right, here's the manual. Now the manual is only in English. I thought that was kind of strange, but if you need it in other languages, I'm sure Google will be able to help you out because I have no idea. Right, so here's some specifications. It is using the Asmodus 180GX chipset. It uses two 18650 high rate flat batteries. Balance charging available. Wattage range for variable wattage mode is 5 watts to 180 watts. And wattage range for temperature temperature control mode is 5 watts to 120 watts. Atomizer resistance range from 0.1 ohms to 2.5 ohms. So don't build below to or don't build below 0.1 ohms in this device. Temperature control range 212 degrees Fahrenheit to 572 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius to 300 degrees Celsius. Max output voltage is 7.5 volts. Output peak current is 45 amps. Input voltage range 6.4 volts to 9.0 volts. Input peak current is 40 amps. Display operating current is 25 milliamps and standby current is 350 microamps. Hmm, neat. All right. Standby time is 18 seconds. Vaping time is 10 seconds. Work efficiency, 95%. I have no way to test that. Charging parameters, DC, 5 volt, 1 amp. So it is a 1 amp charging device and system is upgradable. Now the system does have built-in protections reverse polarity protection just in case you put your batteries in upside down high input voltage warning low input voltage warning low resistance protection high resistance protection and chip temperature protection just in case it overheats it won't let you it'll turn itself off basically and this is telling you how to use the board, all the different little modes, and on the back side, adjustments for the modes, more of that, more of that. System upgrade tells you how to do that. That's actually kind of cool. There's some tips on the back, and all of the little features. I don't know if you can read that. My camera is still needs some adjusting and that's pretty much it for the manual I'll go over all the the modes in just a moment here she is I love this device I've had it for a little over a month now and I have vaped the crap out of it like I've put it through its paces a lot so we'll see how she does with no atomizer attached if you press the fire button it says check atomizer so safety built in there now this is a touch screen so just uh, tapping it does nothing it tells you to slide to unlock that way you don't change the voltage while you're just holding it in your hand see? slide down and then tap the center and there is your variable wattage down 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 up 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 
and one more time. And if you slide down and hit the power, or the mode that is at the bottom, it takes you into the menu. All right, we'll go. Let's go with setup first. So setup, the little sundial there. That is the brightness of the screen. I don't like having it very bright, so I'm going to put it back down. Go back into the menu, setup, and here in the center is the puff limit. Set it however you like. I always have it turned off. Back into the menu, setup, and the little garbage can there. See it? This is the puff counter so far. I don't want to clear it because I like to keep track. Alright, let's go into modes. You got power, coil, TCR, and TFR. Let's go into power mode. You have the regular wattage mode like we were in. And then you have curve. Curve, go in there. You have five little settings. So you can set it when you first hit the button, it'll jump to whatever watts you save for however long. So I have it set at 20 watts for 0.3 seconds. And then it goes up from there, 30, 40, 50, 60. You can set it however you like, but I usually don't use that mode anyway. But it's kind of cool that it has it. All right, so now I'll go to coil. All right, we have different coil options. Stainless steel 316, stainless steel 317, titanium, and nichrome 200. You have TCR mode. Gonna adjust that there. And then you also have TFR mode, which you have five different options there. Now we are gonna go back into oh, Going. We're going to go back into power mode because I like that mode. It's my favorite. There's one more option and the resistance. This sets the resistance and locks it in place. If you're using temperature control, things of that nature, it'll lock the resistance in place. It's a good feature. And that is pretty much it. It's pretty simple, straightforward up and down configuration it does not turn it's always in that orientation you have the battery bars here two batteries there you have the current ohms of resistance the current voltage the wattage you're currently vaping at the puff counter which mine is 4472 and how long that you take a draw. So this is at zero because there's no atomizer. And this is the mode that you're currently in on the bottom. When I first got this, I thought I was gonna like accidentally hit the mode every time I would grab it. But they made this particularly a pain in the butt to get into the touchscreen part on purpose. Some people don't like it that it's not very responsive, but they do that on purpose. Yeah. All right, let's put an atomizer on here and see how she does. Okay, so I am using the recoil by Grim Green and Ohm Boy. I love this RDA. I'll be doing a review on this soon. So, 510 connection, screws down really nice and smooth. Fits flush with no gaps. Using a standard Canthal build in here. And it is reading it at 0.25 ohms. It's exactly where I wanted it. Make sure my coals are nice and saturated. Don't want to burn anything or <laughs> get a really dry hit. That would suck. Cough all over my camera. Black. Black on black looks sick. I love it. 
I love this RDA and the mod. I'm, I'm actually really digging this thing. Alright, 0.25 ohms. You hit the button, it's at 4.27 volts, 66.6 .6 watts, and that's pretty much it. Let's go back and we'll talk about it, pros and cons. And there you have it folks, that was the Asmodus Minikin 2. love this thing it's been really good so far no problems uh, I said I was going to go over the durability <laughs> well, if you can see right here see that little gash right there I was walking on the beach here in lovely San Diego California it was a rainy day it was really weird and I had slipped on some rocks and took in a pretty nasty fall. And I actually landed just like this on the mod, right on the ground. Man. <laughs> and uh, I thought I had destroyed this thing, but picked it up. Absolutely very minimal damage, as you can see. That's the only thing it did, and I landed hard. Everybody laughed. Yeah, kind of sucked, but at least I didn't get hurt and it didn't destroy my device. Let's have the recoil on top. 66.6 .6 watts. Let's have a bite. That's good. Um, pros and cons. Um, only a couple cons. The 510 on the top. I wish it was in the center so it would accommodate larger RDAs. This is the 24 millimeter and it is not overhanging at all as you can see. But anything bigger than that is going to start to go over the top. Yeah. Sit right there. 24 millimeters sit very nice. But I do wish it was in the center because if it was in the center, you could probably fit a 30 with no problems. Now, the touch screen is going to be a con for some people. I don't mind it, but it is, needs to be mentioned. It's kind of a pain in the butt sometimes. And the button. Not clicky at all, it is more spongy. It does have a slight click to it, but it's very quiet. Uh, I personally like the uh, quiet nature of it, but a lot of people like their clicky buttons, so that would be a con. And the pros. Battery life on this is excellent. Um, I charge my batteries overnight, and I pretty much go through an entire day. Um, depends on how hard you vape, of course, and the wattage, but that's for me. The coating on here is very, very durable, as I mentioned. The, it does pick up a lot of fingerprints, but it wipes off really easily. Another pro is the weight. I like the, it feels very sturdy, you know. And that's pretty much it. I have not tried to do the upgrading it. I've heard a lot of people had problems with the software, but I haven't tried it yet, so I wanted to, them to get the bugs out before I even attempted to do anything. I'd screw it up. So, that's it. Let's have another vape and see how she does. Oh, turned her off. See? Playing around and I mess with it. going strong. Alright, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that normal YouTube crap. And 
comment below and tell me how I can improve my videos. Have a good day.